Hi, I'm Sandy Sandler, the creator of the Bodabra Bow Maker. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful spring or summer wreath bow. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is take my Bodabra bow wire. I've already cut it, folding it in half. I'm going to lay it down into the Bodabra. I'm just going to tuck the ends underneath so they stay out of my way. I'm going to put my wire aside. Then I'm going to grab my tails. So I'm going to take um, this beautiful check ribbon and we're just going to fold it in half, lay this down into the Bodabra. Then I'm going to take my beautiful yellow spring summer wreath, I mean jute ribbon, and I just love this ribbon. Lay this down into the Bodabra and take another tail. And I've already dovetailed my ends, so you're just going to fold them in half and clip them from the corner to the to the um, end of the tails. So lay this down in here. And then I'm going to take my beautiful little lemon check ribbon. And then what I'm going to do is take, um, whoops, making a mess here. It's a lot of ribbon. We've got over three yards of ribbon in this, in this one piece of ribbon. So we're just going to twist it. I'm going to fold it back, twist it. And that's all I'm doing here is folding and twisting. And we're going to fold this back over here, twist it. And as you can see, I'm sort of shaping as I go. This is going to make an absolutely gorgeous either door bow or wreath bow. I'm just going to fold that back, twist it. And again, just fold and twist. And as, I, as I'm going, you can see I'm sort of shaping my bow. We're going to fold it back over here and twist and fold it back for our last loop and just scrunch that down into the middle of my Bodabra. Then what I'm going to do is take my beautiful yellow ribbon and we're going to just make sure I have the right side up, twist it and scrunch that down into my Bodabra. I'm going to fold it back over and just make the loops a little bit smaller and twist it. So we're going, we're doing a graduated bow here where we fold it in to make our loops a little bit smaller on each ribbon. So we're going to twist it, that in there so the loops are all the same size. Fold that back, twist it, and twist. Now please do me a favor. If you wouldn't mind, please share this video with your friends and also follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And then we're just going to make our last loop here, scrunch everything in. I'm going to grab my wand, and just give everything. Now, oh, this is a good thing to know. As you'll notice, the more ribbon we have in, the towers tend to come together, but it's absolutely fine to pull them apart and scrunch your wand down in there. Then I'm going to take my last ribbon, which I just love this beautiful lemon print. And we're just going to fold it back and forth and just make our loops a little bit smaller and twist, fold it and twist. We're doing exactly the same side. And the reason that we twist it is so that the right side of the ribbon is on the outside of the bow and the wrong side is on the inside of the loop. We're just going to fold this back over. So we're making a pretty big bow here, but it's so spring-like and colorful. I just love these colors. Scrunch that back in, fold it. And now I'm going to make my little um, half a loop, because that's going to be either our button loop or our floral loop, depending on what, how you were taught. I'm just going to take my wand and scrunch everything down in here again. Then take my Bodabra bow wire and bring it up. And the reason I fold it in half is so now I have a slip knot. I'm just going to hold my bow down, pull it really tight while it's still in the Bodabra. So that way, when I bring it out, I'm not fumbling. I'm going to separate my ends and bring them around to the back. You can see we have a lot of ribbon in here. Bring this around to the back. And I'm going to tie it off. And I'm going to double knot it. So we're going to tie one knot. I think we're going to tie a knot. Oh, here we go. And then just to be absolutely secure, we're going to tie another knot. And 
now I'm going to shape out my loop. And first, I'm going to clip this little piece here. And now I'm going to take my little button loop in the middle and just shape that and then pull these all apart here. And I just sh shape by putting my fingers in and pulling everything apart. And we're going to do the same thing here. And just pull them to opposite areas and take this. And then I'm going to take my tails and just pull those down here and shape the back here. And we have an extra tail here, so we're just going to dovetail this one and just keep shaping it here. Bring all my tails down. And when you're done, you have this absolutely gorgeous wreath bow for your door, or you can put it on a wreath. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.